hey welcome once again to the telegram boat api now you can see from the uh, the previous video uh, we made a request where we re we, we reloaded this and it sent message back to uh, it sent message back to the user via the boat so what we want to do we want to make this diagram possible by sending the message to the user then checking what the boat will uh, how the bot will respond then it will respond back according to the user information so basically what we are doing here we are creating something like a chat bot an automated chat bot that we are going to do uh, uh, we are, what we are doing here we are creating uh, something like a chat bot where the user can interact with the bot according to the specific uh, response that the bot will be set so let's go back to our code here this is the code that we are going to adjust let me remove this and remember we this is the user message that uh, the user sends to the bot so we need to create something here i'm going to create something i'm going to create like if if the user message if the user message is uh let me do this if the user message is hi hi or uh, let's say hi then we can just do hi both the hi hello and that then it will help it will respond back with hi there how can i help you then we can create other parameters here we can do this let's test it let's test that first let's uh, test that so you can see from this the message that the user will send if it is high if it is high with a small or hello with the cups then hello with the uh, small it will respond as it will respond the bit bot message as hi hi there how can i help you so let's remove this variable here so that we cannot confuse then we will go back to our webhook url remember the webhook url if you didn't know how to set it you can check it from the previous video in this playlist so let's come back here then copy all this then go back to the here the webhook url that we set then paste it there so remember that the send message is different from this so this is the code that we have up, up, updated because when you come back to here get webhook info this is what is the webhook this is where the information is sent that we will send back so remember we have updated this here so we, we, we are going to test it if it is okay so i'm going to come here and write hi you can see it has responded to us by saying hi hi there how can i help you now let's go back to the let's go back to the uh let's go back to this and adjust and add more information you can see when, when we add uh other information like how are you you can't respond or if you write hello you will get a message because it's included on how the what the, the boat is checking so we can do this we can add here an else statement where we will say uh sorry i don't understand uh i don't understand what do you mean so i will copy this then go back to this then paste it there then update the new code then i will do this i will type here uh something like let's say alvin if we say alvin you can see it doesn't understand because it is included so you can also adjust this and add extra uh requirement that you want it to do so let's say else else if then i will write the condition that the boat will check like for now it will be predicted how are you you can see you can write that then we will uh do that then uh, then let's do this then let's do that then let's come back to this then copy then paste it there then we can go back to the telegram boat and say hi hey there how can i help you then me i will ask it as how are you 
now you can see i'm fine thank you how about you so that's how you oh, you send and receive message to the user the same case will apply to user b when he sends message to the bot the bot will get the the webhook will get the the chat id for this user so that it can respond back to the user b according to the message that the user has asked the uh, has asked the the boat so see you in the next video where we are going to uh, we're going to proceed with the other concept of the telegram boat api